Hello everyone, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. In today's video, we're going to pit against each other and measure scientifically, using my own Desta lovely machine, real-world writing speed and lag and all of these kinds of intricacies between four major competitors. The contestants are Onyx Books Nova 2, Rata Supernote A6, Remarkable Paper Tablet Generation 1, and the Onyx Books Max 3. So let's check out the results. Let me talk you through a little bit about the test itself for those who haven't seen the Desta video and the previous speed test. Uh, basically, I've built a dedicated Lego machine with a robotic type of controls and all that kind of stuff with a custom program, all to ensure that the robot draws a perfectly straight line at the same exact speed every single time. Uh, on the other end of the device and everything else is a camera holder, which again holds the camera at the precisely exact same place and angle and distance um, from device to device. This is supposed to ensure maximum consistency of the results between the different devices. The footage is recorded at 480 frames per second, which is then slowed down and then analyzed. The results are extremely surprising. I'm gonna probably be running a second test of these devices again, because I wanna introduce a small change to the Desta machine. Currently it has wheels that are slightly rugged, I would say. Uh, that's something that you can't really notice in real time, but at 480 frames per second, you can see a slight jitteriness. Now I want to give it smooth wheels so that I eliminate that uh, jitteriness is a potential factor of adding inconsistency or anything like that. The second thing that I couldn't do today was to run a tenfold test on each device, which means run the same test 10 times on each of the devices, round up the values, and then average out a single value from 10 tests on each of the devices. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do that now because I'm actually in the middle of a process of completely redoing and remodeling the entire studio room thingy so that I can have a little bit more space. I didn't have time to do that now, but I will redo the test sometime in the future because the results were so interesting and so not what I expected that I think it deserves to actually be amped up even further. However, even as it is now, I think it's quite interesting to see. So let's check out the actual results and the performance of the devices. As you can see, they're all aligned and uh, surprisingly, Supernote A6 is actually the winner. Now, that's something that I really didn't expect. Remarkable Gen 1 and Supernote A6 are incredibly close to each other. The first contact and full line differences are 4 milliseconds. So there's no way that you can actually notice that. However, the difference is there and it's consistent. Definitely, by a tiny, tiny, tiny margin, Supernote A6 is faster than the Remarkable Gen 1. Go figure. Now, the thing that really surprised me is the Max 3. We all know that Max 3 is a bigger device, it's using a different screen. It's a different resolution, it's a different panel altogether. However, for whatever reason, I simply kind of expect it to have the same performance as the other Onyx Books family devices like Nova 2 and Note 2. However, that's not the case and not by a small margin, by a huge margin. Because if you notice the difference between Max 3 and the Nova 2, is gigantic. We have 58 milliseconds first contact for Max 3 and we have 87 milliseconds first contact for Nova 2. So that's a difference of roughly 30 milliseconds between the two and the same difference is between full line uh, between Max 3 and Nova 2 as well. So it scales definitely equally. It's a huge eye-opener to actually see that the Max 3 is not only a 13.3 inch e-ink panel with a higher resolution, but it's also almost as fast as Remarkable and a Supernote. We've pitted together Nova 2 against Max 3 against uh, Supernote A6 and against Remarkable Gen 1 and the Desta winner in this shootout is the Supernote A6. The biggest surprise of this test is the Onyx Books Max 3. So there you go. 
I'm really, really excited about actually having the opportunity to rerun this test with those slight improvements to actually get the Desta uh, into something that's really, really special and super awesome because every time I run these tests now, uh, the results are so insightful and so surprising that I think it warrants to amp it up to even higher levels of accuracy and consistency. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope that you guys actually found the results interesting as I did because they certainly were like eye-openers for me, especially as far as Max 3 goes. And apropos Max 3, uh, Onyx Books were cool enough to actually supply the review unit for me, so I will be able to do the in-depth review for you guys, and that's coming out very, very soon. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Consider taking off the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter thingies, which are going to become more alive once I'm done with the remodeling of the room and all of these kinds of things, because the previous couple of weeks were crazy. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye!